So what I'm showing first is a technology that we first launched at CES in 2014, and that was Lynx, which was the first smart hearing aid that coupled directly to an iPhone. And what it enabled for, it's still a professionally fitted device, but it enabled the end user, the hearing aid user, to adjust the hearing aid. Things like volume, change programs if they've been programmed for different listening environments. Some cool features on this that are kind of interesting is it enabled back then to use a Find My hearing aid feature. If they left the hearing aid off, hopefully they're wearing them, but if they left them behind somewhere, it'll show right on the map where we are here in Las Vegas, and uh, it'll show right where the device is so that you could use it to help uh, uh, find it. We've had some tremendous stories come in from the field of people that left their hearing aid and no longer had to lose it completely. So that's technology that we introduced four years ago. The technology that we have today enables me to initiate a telehealth request even after the, the, the device has been fitted in the clinic, I may still encounter some challenging listening environments like this one here at CES. We've got a very noisy neighbor over here. So I could start a request and I could, uh, first there's some screening questions. If there's hearing changes or, or the hearing aid is broken, you're requested to go see your professional. It's not designed to replace that. But now I can say, well, that noise over there is too loud and it's in certain environments. There isn't a CES selection on here, so I'll just say noise and then I'll go next, and then in this case, then I'll say it's annoying, it's in both ears, and it's in, uh, well, let's say, noise and outdoor. So now I'll go next, and then I'll send a request, and at that point, it goes to the healthcare professional, it goes to the cloud, it, they pull that back down, the, the professional makes an adjustment, sends me a new group of settings, I start that when it's received, oops, excuse me, and now my request that came back shows here, I'm gonna install it, I can continue there. All I need is the hearing aid and the phone. I don't need the professional present here. I accept and install, and now you'll see the new settings are uploaded. I can accept those and keep them, or I can reject them. Like I said, uh, this is a, a device that we think challenges conventional wisdom about what hearing aids look like and the size. Uh, very sporty in terms of this one's, are, these are red. Uh, I've got some that match my hair color on my ear here. Uh, very unobtrusive. Uh, we're not trying to disguise hearing aids. We're trying to say, and some people you'd be surprised, want red hearing aids because they're proud to, play, to, to proclaim that they have hearing loss and are doing something about it. And even now knowing you're wearing one is very hard to tell. It is indeed.